So good morning. Um, good morning to everyone on YouTube as well. We've got a few people on Zoom and if you're watching on YouTube, welcome along. We are going to start with some gentle breathing exercises today, as, uh, as we often do in these classes. Because we're going to get into our breathing today, we're also going to be doing some balancing, as I just mentioned. So, put some background music on. And all I want you to do is start, just plant your feet firmly down on the floor, relax your arms down to the sides, and you can close your eyes if you want to, just take a deep inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Let's do this just twice more, twice more. Inhale, exhale, and inhale. and exhale. Now gently just roll the shoulders around, start loosening up your shoulders, roll them around. It's all slow and uh, graceful with these movements. I'm not sure about graceful on the shoulder rolls, but... Uh, and let's go backwards, roll the shoulders backwards. Fantastic. Take your arms over your head, grab one wrist with the other hand and pull across and stretch out sideways one way. Have a good old stretch across. Fantastic. Grip the other wrist and pull the other way. Stretch across. Fantastic. Back to the middle, arms down to the sides, have a little twist side to side, loosening up your back. Fantastic. Couple more times. Remember, nice and slow and relax. So just to continue our warm-up, I'm going to do a little sequence, short sequence, a little bit of forward fold to loosen up your back, a little bit of breathing as well. So this is, oh, I've still got my coloured lights on from yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to leave it, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> um, yes, normally I'd slow it down for the, for the Wednesday morning, but there we are. Right. Let's take an inhale and raise your arms up. Let's take an exhale and forward fold. Let's take an inhale and unfold. Exhale, bring your arms down. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. Let's do that one more time. Exactly the same. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. Let's add a twist. So when we're in that folded position, we're gonna twist up to one side. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Grab one leg with one hand. Inhale, twist up the other way. Exhale, untwist. 
inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. We're going to do it again this time, twisting the other way. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Grab the other leg this time with the other hand. Inhale, twist up. Exhale, twist down. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. One more time each side. Let's do it through one more time each side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist up. Exhale, untwist. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. Straight into the next one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist up. Exhale, untwist. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. We're going to do one more forward fold. This time we're going to stay folded forward. That's a bit of a tongue twist to stay folded forward for four breaths. <laughs> um, forward fold on the exhale. Now we're going to hold it here. We're just going to hang for like four breaths. Each time you exhale, I want you to just fold a little bit further. Let gravity pull you down. Doesn't matter how close your fingers are to your feet or whether your hands are on the floor. It doesn't matter. Just keep holding another two breaths. And when you reach your next inhale, we're going to unfold. And as you exhale, bring your arms down. Very good. Moving on to balancing. We're going to do quite a bit of balancing today. And we're going to be doing a warrior pose as well on one foot. That'll be fun. So first of all, all I want you to do is lift one heel off the floor and bring the heel in towards the other ankle so all your weight is on one leg. Don't think about lifting the foot off the floor yet because all I want to do is get used to this position and take a few breaths. So bring your hands up over your head, palms together and inhale and exhale. Close your eyes. Probably better to keep your eyes open and focus. Inhale on a distant object and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And one more time. Inhale, exhale. Bring those arms down. Now we're going to try and just balance with the foot right off the floor now for a little bit longer. Now if you feel more comfortable having a chair next to you so that if you wobble you can steady yourselves then that's okay. But all I want you to do is push the back of your hand against the chair if you need to to steady yourself. I'd quite like to balance on the one foot and we're going to aim to do one minute today. Yeah, one minute. We will take the foot first of all, the heel comes up, and then we're going to bring it up the leg a little bit, take that knee out. Now when you're ready, we'll take the hands up overhead. If you fancy just keeping one hand on the chair, back of the hand against the chair, that's fine. Okay, we're going to do a minute from now. I want you to think about your breathing. Look at some distant object. Long, slow, deep breaths. If you 
you find yourself wobbling, put your foot down or just tap the chair. Okay, so. Thirty more seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two. One. Slowly bring your foot down. I have to say, Zoom people, Margaret and John, really good, much better than me. I was wobbling and putting my foot down all the time. You did really well. I could just see you holding that position in perfect bliss and harmony with your, with your body. So let's do the other side. Let's do the other side. You might find one leg is easier than the other. Start with your foot just, heel just off the floor. Hands up. We'll take a few breaths in this position first before we go into our full balance. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. Arms down. Right, should we try the balancing version? We'll try a minute as well on this one. Let's try a minute. So, start off with your heel up, bring your foot up to the side of your thigh or the side of your knee. And we're just going to hold that position. And it's like one minute from now, yeah? One minute from now. Chairs there if you need it. Just reset yourself. Get back into position. Another 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Bring your foot down, bring your arm down, good. So if you're balancing perfectly on one leg, that's really good, very well done. If like me, you struggle, practice makes perfect. Just do a little bit every day. A little bit of balancing is good. So we're gonna do what's called in yoga, warrior three, which is quite an advanced balancing um, pose that I can't do. So I'm gonna be using my chair. <laughs> Okay, this requires flexibility and balance. Okay, just let me just give you a little taste of this. Basically, you take one foot back behind you, you take arms out in front, and if you're serious about your yoga, whoops, I'm wobbling around all over the place, you can hold this position without resting your arm on the chair, yeah? So you're balancing on one foot, and your arms are just stretched out in front. So let's have a go. Let's have a go. If you want the chair there, that's that's okay. It's um, it is quite advanced, but I do want to have a go at this today. So choose a leg to start on. I'm choosing my right leg. You're going to pivot forward from the waist to 90 degrees. You're going to take your arms out in front, and then you're going to take one leg back behind you. So your body is in a nice straight line. And we're just going to hold it there for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and release. Wow, 
Hands up on Zoom if anyone managed that without the chair. <laughs> yes, Margaret. Excellent, excellent. Good work. Let's try the other leg now. Let's try the other. It might not be so easy on the other leg. We'll do the same thing on the other leg. We'll do a 30 seconds again. So, pivot forwards, arms out, and then the other leg is going to come up off the floor and stretch out behind, and we'll hold this for 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Now it's probably, what, two years since we did that? We did this once or twice in the last um, series of uh, classes, and I think, if I remember rightly, I was better then than I am now. <laughs> So let's uh, practice makes perfect. The final sequence on the balancing, again, we're going to do a minute. We're going to do a star balance, okay? So your body is just going to be in a star shape like this. And we're going to try and hold that position on each foot for one minute. So arms stretched out, you tilt your body, you bring one leg out to the side. So if you're ready, let's do the first side now, one minute. Still got my chair handy in case I need it. Another 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. One. Oh. <laughs> Horrible, isn't it? Let's do the other side. Let's do one final minute on the other side. This will end our balancing sequence, thank goodness. <laughs> I think I bit off more than I could chew today with this. Let's do the other side one minute from now. Again, I'm sure I did better last year, <laughs> or two years ago, whenever it was. <laughs> keep holding, keep holding. 20 more seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. One. Oh. It's good on so many levels, isn't it? It works your shoulders. You're just holding your arms up. It works your shoulders. I feel like as though I need to move around a bit now after that. So let's do a lunge. Let's do, a, before we get down on the floor, we're going to do a lunge sequence. Now, we've done this sequence before. So this is one of my favorite sequences yoga inspired so here's what we're going to do let's run through the sequence slowly you can do this with me we're only going to do it a couple of times through so on your mat facing outwards take one foot right back so the back heel is off the floor both sets of toes pointing forwards we're going to bend that front knee lower your body weight down so I lunge, you can bring your hands up, palms facing each other, hold the position. Let's hold this for 20 seconds, take a few deep breaths.
Fantastic. Now, bring your hands down and put them on the floor either side of that front foot. Oh. Now into a stretch here. We're going to do a twist from this position. So, if your left foot is forward, you're going to lift your left hand off the floor. If your right foot is forward, you're going to lift your right hand off the floor. Twist up. Arm comes up, right up vertical, looking up towards your hand. Let's hold it here for 10 seconds. Nice deep breath in and out. Let's bring the hand back down, bring the back knee onto the floor. Bring your arms up again, this time with the back knee on the floor. Stretch back. Now we're going to try and get up without putting your hands on the floor, just lifting yourself up using your feet. So just push your body weight over your front foot and push yourself up with grace, <laughs> with slowness and slowness and grace. Okay, take a step forward. Let's do the other side. Let's do the other side. Big step back into our lunge position. Try and get as much distance between your front and back foot as you can. Bend the front knee. Whoa. Lower yourself down. From here, we're going to bring the arms up. Hold for 20 seconds. Fantastic. Bring your arms down to the floor, either side of that front foot. And we're going to twist up. If your right foot is forward, twist up to the right. If your left foot is forward, twist up to the left. Bring your arm up. Fantastic. Bring your arm back down again. Bring your back knee onto the floor. Ah. Stretch your arms up and have a little stretch back. And slowly rise up, pushing up with your feet, standing up and stepping forwards. We're going to do the same thing again on each side, one more time on each side. That's all today. And the good news is then we're lying down on the floor. So back to the uh, first leg into your lunge, big step back, bend the front knee, arms come up. Fantastic, bring your arms down to the side of the front foot, twist up. Bring your hand down to the floor, back knee comes down, stretch back. And slowly, slowly lift yourself up. Step forwards. One more to do. Let's take the other foot back. Into our lunge. Lower yourself down. Arms come up. Hands down to the floor. Twist up. Hand back down to the floor. Back knee comes down. Stretch back. And finally, stand back up again slowly and step forwards and bring your arms down. Very, very good. Now, we're going to do hamstring stretches on the floor. So if you've got a band or a towel, 
you'll need that to, or you you might not need it. You might just put your hands around your leg. You'll know what to do. So have a lie down on your back, on your mat. Get yourself comfy. Just adjust my camera here. Let's just do that. It's good. So, start off. <laughs> I'm being throttled by my microphone cable. Start off with your legs stretched out on the floor, straight out. Keeping one leg down on the floor, flat out on the floor, bring the other leg up. Now, if you can reach your hands around your ankle or around your shin, that's okay. And you can pull in if you're not using your strap or your towel. Hook your strap or wrap your towel around your foot. And we're gonna pull. <laughs> so you're getting a nice stretch down in the back of your leg there, behind your knee and down the back of your thigh and we're going to aim to hold this today for a whole minute and I want you to keep that tension and hold this stretch remember while you're holding breathing ideally both legs should be straight at the knee for maximum stretch in your hamstring. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. We're gonna do the other leg now. So remember with these stretches, one minute is a good stretch. If you really wanna get benefits from this, you could hold it for two, three, up to five minutes. So into position for your second leg. Leg straight, pull up as high as you, oh, that's that one's much more difficult. Right, we'll do a minute from now. Again, if you feel the stretch eases off, make sure the knee is straight and pull in a little bit more. Another 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Cool. Just gonna turn myself around a little bit now. Make sure you can see me, because we're going to do it again, but we're going to do a little more advanced thing on here. So let me just turn around here. You might be able to see what I'm doing. Go back to your first leg. I'm going to use my strap again. Get into position with your stretch. Yeah, get into position with your stretched. And, or you can just watch me first. Now, I'm now only holding on with one hand, so my right leg is up. I'm holding on with my right hand. My left hand is going to come out onto the floor. Then I'm going to pull out to the side and bring the foot out to the side. Now, this is going to give you a nice inner thigh stretch. You're still using your band or your towel. Some people can do this and actually cap their hands around their feet, which is crazy, I know. But 
So from the upright position, again, I'll just go through this. Just take it out to the side slowly. You may only get a little way. You may get all the way to the floor. Do what's comfortable for you. Make sure you get a little inner thigh stretch. So we're gonna hold it here for another 20 seconds. Not sure from the camera angle if you can see exactly how this is working, but basically you take your leg out to one side. Five more seconds. And release, bend the knee, release. We'll do the other side. Let's come back to the middle here. Start with the hamstring stretch. One leg out, one leg pulling up. We're gonna grip that band or that towel and we're gonna hold it with one hand. So. When you feel you've got the stretch in your hamstring, start taking the leg out to the side. Try not to let the other hip come off the floor. Hold it for 20 seconds. Five seconds. And release. Now I've seen people do this and their, their leg is literally 90 degrees out to the side of the body, sometimes even higher. So have a little practice and I want you to be doing that by next week. <laughs> right, stay on the floor, stay on the floor. We're gonna do some bridge work next. So enough of stretching. I want you to bring your feet in close to your bum. and raise your hips off the floor into our bridge position. This is nice, we're just gonna hold this. Fantastic, let's just hold this for another 40 seconds. All this is doing is engaging your lower back working into your hip flexors, into your glutes. We're only doing this once today before we move on. Twenty more seconds. Five seconds, three, two, one, and lower yourself down. Now, I'd like you to sit up now. We're gonna sit up on the mat. Feet together. Some of you may want to sit on a block or sit with your back against a wall. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and stretch the inner thigh a little bit more. I want you to put your elbows on your knees and push down. So your knees might be on the floor, your knees might be nowhere near the floor like mine. <laughs> but I want to push down, stretch out your inner thigh. We're going to hold this for a minute. Okay, let's try and hold this for one minute. Pushing down. Very good. Think about straight back. Keep pushing your elbows down against your knees so you keep stretching your thighs.
Another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Oh, my word. I feel like a uh, cat and cow stretch coming on now. So we'll stay down, but just turn over onto hands and knees and we will do our cat and cow while we're doing the floor. Uh, so start by arching your back up like a cat stretching. Head hangs down. Hold this position for a couple of breaths. Fantastic. Now bring your tummy down towards the floor. Lift your head up. Concave lower back into our cow stretch. Hold it for a couple of breaths. Fantastic. Back into cat. Arch your back up. And into cow, tummy down. Let's do that twice more. Twice more. Arch your back up. And down. And cat. And cow. Sit back on your heels, stretch your arms out in front, into child's pose, big stretch out, push those fingertips away from you on the floor, make sure you feel your stro shoulders stretching, sit back onto your heels and breathe gently. breathing and let gravity just pull you down towards the floor as your body relaxes your muscles stretch out One more deep breath. Slowly bring yourself back up onto hands and knees. Oh. Turn and sit back down on the floor. Oh. And finally, oh, and cross your legs. Take a breath. <sighs> Fantastic. So we've finished our session. You can stay seat seated on the floor if you wish. Stay here. Um, I'm going to stand up so I can uh, have a little chat, but there's no rush. So I hope you enjoyed the session. We'll do some more next week, more um, yoga-inspired stuff next week. The following week, being the first uh, Wednesday of the month, will be Tai Chi. Yes, I nearly forgot what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> tai Chi, so that's in two weeks, yeah. There's a, it's a five Wednesday month this month, so it's not come round quite as quick as I was hoping.
But uh, we'll do it in uh, two weeks' time. Next week, some more yoga stuff, some more stretching. Right. Oh. I feel better. I feel like I've had a good stretch. I also feel a bit uh, um, tired. So, can we too? Oh. Feel free to turn those microphones on on Zoom. Have a little chat with me. Otherwise, thank you for watching on YouTube. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, little request. I do get lots of views for these videos, and uh, it's really nice to know there's lots of people out there following this uh, channel. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. It's really important you subscribe and you like the video. And if you want to keep, um, keep doing my videos, there's also a link where you can make a small contribution um, to my income because I, I do this for a living. So um, please, um, by all means, uh, make a small donation, however small it all helps. That would be much appreciated if you're enjoying the sessions on YouTube. So thanks for that. Um, let's have a chat. Sorry about that. I definitely did a little plug. <laughs> Feel free to talk.